fight for the ages between the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi, and George Rush St. Pierre. So here's the legend, George St. Pierre, former UFC welterweight champion, former UFC middleweight champion in DC as one of the most decorated wrestlers on this UFC roster. You gotta be pretty amazed at what this man has been able to accomplish without any amateur wrestling credentials to speak of. Yeah, with no background, the guys that he's been in there with and controlled the wrestling exchanges has truly been unbelievable to watch. I was in Canada when he fought Josh Koscheck and took Josh Koscheck, who's an NCAA champion, down whenever he needed to. Right. But it was also the strike that made him so dangerous. I remember George St. Pierre had this combination. It was a lead jab, a lead Superman jab, and then a leg kick. Everyone wanted to try and do it, and they say imitation is the greatest form of getting a compliment. We all tried to beat George St. Pierre. And he's got more SPs than you. He's a, he's a man. <laughs> Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup team. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Choi is 29, GSP is 39. He will have a six inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World! It's who the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, presenting the challenger, George Rush St. Pierre! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. noise for mixed martial arts as any fan base in the world and obviously a very exciting atmosphere for the fighters in this it's a great environment for the fighters it's a great experience for the fans there aren't many places in the world that fighters love to compete in more than the bell center in montreal 
saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by the Korean Super Bowl. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the tongue. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Single collar tie here. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Right hand punch. Back and forth we go here. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did. And... I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 30 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by knockout and still. So heavyweight title retained as the